everyone, I'm Sal Sincata, and in this month's product spotlight, we're gonna check out IPS by Enview. Do you do in-person sales? Then this is the tool for you. Enview is finally out of beta. It's a huge announcement. We've been working with this product for almost a year while it's been in beta, uh, and the product is built for in-person sales. So don't take my word for it. Check out, uh, Alyssa's gonna take you through and show you some of the amazing features uh, that are built right into IPS so that you have one tool to run all your in-person sales. Hey everyone, Alyssa Zimmerman here. Let's take a look at what the new InView IPS has to offer. All right, so in your gallery manager, you're going, you're going to go to create and an in-person sales session. So this is what's going to get your process started. So I like to set this up before clients come in, um, usually about an hour before, so everything's set and ready to go. In here, you'll type the, the event name, and then you'll also put the event date. For the sake of this, I'm going to just put today. And next, you'll upload the images. My favorite thing here is you can get started uh, setting up all the settings inside of IPS and you'll see down at the bottom right, um, your images are uploading in real time, not something that you have to sit and wait for. So you'll enter their first name, last name, and client email. And this client information lives with the project, so anytime you need to send communication to them or um, email receipts, it's easily available right here. Next up is setting up your presentation workflow. And you can customize this if you want. Uh, you've got your welcome screen, slideshow, calling, room view. You can add these in whatever order makes sense for you. The InView suggested is what we do. This was actually built on our sales process. So we start with the welcome screen. The setup process, we start with the slideshow. And I just go through and I select images that um, aren't repeating necessarily. You don't want too many of the same ones. This is just a high level slideshow teaser for your clients when they first come in to look at their pictures. All right, and your image calling. Uh, we just do favorites. You can have them do five star, four star, yes, no, maybe, whatever you want. And for uh, the initial calling view, so right after the slideshow plays, we go to thumbnails right away. In selling, you can turn the shopping cart on or off. Um, we like to keep the shopping cart on and we use the a la carte pricing, but we don't show our pricing during the IPS session. And um, when they're in person for the sales session, we do no shipping, shipping charges. But as you can see, you can, you can add multiple different ones. And you'll wanna keep cropping turned on during this because uh, you'll need to be able to see the functionality of room view. So from here, we're selecting the welcome screen. And this is the impact image that your clients are gonna come into. So just browse through the images you have. Usually I'll have the one selected. I already know which one I wanna use. Put that there and depending on where they are in the frame you have to set your focal point so that it stays true on your screen you don't want their feet cut off when they're walking in details like that also for their name depending on where the subject is in the frame i can put it on top i can put it on bottom middle left right uh, you can change the opacity of the image in the background as well as the title line um, you can hide your studio name at the bottom you can go in and customize all the colors for your brand ours stay pretty monochromatic so next we'll go into customizing the slideshow. All the images are selected and you can see them here, but we do a two second uh, time per image on the screen. Culling, uh, you can just go back in here. You've already cho chosen the, the settings for this, but if you wanna change your mind, you have the option to go in here and change. For room view, uh, you wanna make sure this is turned on and then you can go into your room and all of the pre-designed rooms are already loaded in here, but if you have your clients send you a picture of their home, you can upload that and turn those on in here and add them to your gallery or add them to your IPS session so that you can actually walk your clients through uh, what their images will look like on their walls in their home. It's so much more impactful. Selling you've already set up as well. This is just another place if you change your mind on anything, you can come in here. And you can add discounts. This is not something in, in the initial setup, but you can add discounts to the entire gallery. And that's it for setup. Then you wanna begin the sales session. So you click that in the top right, then you, yes, uh, our client is selected here, so you go to next step. When they're in person with me, I do single screen, and I like to go full screen so there are no distractions in the background. So this is what our, my clients are walking into. To get started with the slideshow, you just click anywhere on the screen and your slideshow will begin. Now I've got my iPhone plugged into a Spotify playlist. It's on airplane mode, so there are no 
there's music in the background. It's not something directly through InView yet. And as you saw, I moved that little hamburger down. I thought it was distracting up there. So you can see that that gray piece can move wherever you need it to. Once you're done with the slideshow, click continue at the bottom of the screen, and that will take you to your initial calling view, which I selected thumbnail. So this is what it would look like. At this point in the IPS session, I'd be having a conversation with the clients, scrolling through the images, you know, what image was your favorite, um, talking about parts of the day, just reminiscing and reliving parts together. And then we would go through the selection process in our packages. And so I would give my recommendations for 30 by 40 canvas, 30 by 40 acrylic, the big wall art in their home. And at this time, as we're scrolling through the images, we're also talking about images that will look good and lay out well in their album. So favoriting an image is as easy as selecting the heart at the bottom. And so once you've done that, you just exit out, go down to the left corner, all image, filter by favorites. And this allows the client to see all their favorites here. And if there's one that you miss or one that you want to add, you just go back to all images and you can favorite right from the thumbnail view. So from here, this is where we would start the ordering process. So um, this one is something that I, I would push for a large canvas in their home and it's artwork. So I would show them first as a 1624. We do a black wrap around the edges. I would show this to them on a wall to give them perspective of how small a 1624 really looks when it's a, uh, a standalone piece like this. And so from here, I can say, this is what a 1624 would look like, but here's the impact of a 30 by 40. This allows you to do one piece of art on that solid wall and not have to do multiple pieces. If you want to add notes or comments, you go back into the image, and these are notes tied specifically to this image. All right, so update your saved item, and it updates your cart. So let's go back to the cart, and you can see the notes carry o carried over right there, tied to the image. So the order notes, this is something that carries through the entire order. Um, don't forget to add your sales tax where applicable, and then check out and your order's placed. So this is your receipt. So once you've completed that, you click on the hamburger again, and here you'll go return to admin, event dashboard, and this is your event dashboard for everything you just saw. So you can see the total revenue from the order we just placed. You can see how many visits, and there you have it.